community is really why we are here, right Paul? That's right. Yep, we, uh, we really want to get everyone involved here, get our mm -hmm. community together. We have a great uh, Cisco VIP community champion here, uh, Dave Macias, uh, who also was our guest on our first Coder's Corner episode. Yeah, it's super cool. And David, thanks for being here, man. We yeah. really appreciate it. Yeah, um, thank you for having me. Thank you for like listening to me uh, talk again. <laughs> the first time was definitely not enough, so I appreciate you hanging in there. It's super cool, man. Uh, we've had such good reception for the video, and Paul and I are really excited to do more of these. But you know, as the as the first person that we met for this new show code called Coder's Corner, right here on the DevNet YouTube channel, um, what was the experience like for you? Like, not just being on camera and talking about one of your projects, but Kind of, I don't even want to say this is the culmination of, but giving you kind of giving you a chance to really tell a large amount of people, here's something that I built that I think might be helpful for you. What was that like? Yeah. Well, so you know, uh, when we first started talking, I wasn't hundred percent sure what it was that we were doing, um, so I was a little bit nervous just because I wasn't sure, and I also felt that maybe some other people were not in, weren't sure hundred percent either. I think we're all kind of figuring out yeah. a couple of things. But once we started rolling, um, it really did feel just uh, you know comfortable. We did some prep, obviously, right, and talked about some of the high points that we wanted to highlight. Um, and through the process, the, the longer it went, the better it felt. And I was glad I like I stuck it out. I honestly, I hate sort of like being being recorded. I you know I feel like I have an accent, or sometimes like oh my uh, I stumble over my words and things like that. So. Um, it was, I imagine it a lot worse than what it was actually like. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming it's a common yes. feeling, right? But I was very glad I did it. It really just took a little bit of preparation. Not a lot, just a little bit of preparation. Yeah. And, I, and I'll be honest, I did, like, before we met, a couple of days, I'm like, okay, I'm going to say, I'm going to pretend that you asked a question and we talk about <laughs> one of the products that I, I, I talked about. What would I say? And I said it out loud, like, okay, I don't sound terrible. Let's do this. <laughs> no, it came out great. I, I thought, you know. The, the things you presented were super useful as well. So that's what I really hope we get a lot of out of this Coders Corner is to have some useful things that our, our members out there in the world are doing. Yeah, it's surprising. I, on, the, on the community forums, time and time again, people will post like, oh, I built this, because, but they'll only give you one blur because it's in, <laughs> it's in relationship to somebody else's comment. Right. But there's like, there's so much more that could be extracted yeah. from They're like, well, why did you build it? What did you like about it? What didn't work, what worked? So I think it's a phenomenal idea. There's so many stuff out there that people have built for one very specific use case that just doesn't get any more uh, sunlight. So you you really took the words out of my mouth. I was actually gonna ask you, my, fo my follow-up question I was thinking about <laughs> asking you right here was, like, it feels like this is synonymous for exactly what you described, but you literally said it, that when you're in a community forum, it doesn't matter what it is, and how good that forum is or how good that community is at encouraging people to talk about something they do. At the end of the day, not everyone feels comfortable getting out there and like, being on a stage, whether it's an actual, you know, video-based stage or text-based, or they don't always feel comfortable saying that. So they might, you know, put a little insert, a little something here, and hopefully someone picks up on it. But yeah, I'm, I'm excited that more people like yourself, and I'm, I'm really hoping um, after Cisco Live, people get a chance to watch this video and hear from you what, like, what it's like to have an idea, to have built something, and then put it out there for others to hopefully not just use. Like that's a that's really cool, but also get motivated, or maybe even inspired to say. Well, Maybe that idea that I had, I, maybe I could actually do that. Um, like, what do you hope, not just from being able to talk about what you built, but what do you hope people do um, it, with their own ideas and engaging with other people in the community? What do you hope comes of all of this? Yeah. I think the biggest thing is understand that the limits are always being pushed, right? Like, because they're being pushed because of new features that Cisco's providing on the product, or they're being pushed because uh, there's tools being generated that allow for more integration that wasn't possible before. So the first part is first part is realizing, okay, having a clear understanding of what I'm hoping to accomplish, mm -hmm. and then next step is Googling, or you know, <laughs> go to the search engine, <laughs> has somebody done this before? And then the next step will be like, okay, maybe talk to some experts and things like that, and being open about it, like, hey, look, if you're trying to build a product and make a company out of this, maybe this is not the right path, but if yeah. you're trying to solve a problem for one of your customers or you as a customer, like, there's, there's really no, no need for secrecy. I mean, you know, the, the, the framework is all very generic. It's the very detailed data maybe that's, that's very, yeah, that needs to be private, but the flow of data and the interconnection between one API and another API, like, that's pretty much open and, yeah. and, and available worldwide. So, I don't know, just, Bringing up, hopefully, like having people realize that, hey, 
we can do more with what we have, get more, hopefully more value out of our uh, initial investment. And then number two is hopefully finding resources available that make them, uh, like, help them see how it could be done and then eventually leading to doing it themselves. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, and you've been such a great member of our community as well. You're in there answering questions for our people all the time, and uh, I, you know, we all really appreciate your, your feedback there for sure. Um, so yeah, thanks again for I, that. I think I've been a, I think I've been a member of the the collaboration community for almost close to twenty years. Wow. And, and I actually went back a, a couple of like last year or so and looked at some of my earlier posts. And sometimes when I Google something and I find my my, my own answer, I'm like. <laughs> That's not right anymore. That You're like, this, beca- this just became way too meta. Yeah, at this yeah. point. Um, I, I'm, but, I'm very excited that we've got a chance to do this. And you had a chance to be here. And I, my biggest hope is that others watching this video, watching The Coder's Corner, watching your episode specifically, feel a little bit more comfortable with, yeah. you know, maybe I can put the thing I'm doing out there. You know, if you want, if anybody who's watching this and wants to take the step of like, oh, I'd love to be on Coder's Corner, um, Paul, where can they like contact us to say, hey, I, I think I'd like to like, follow in David's footsteps? Yeah, come to the Cisco community. Uh, you can leave me a message there, a, a private message if you want. Um, yeah, that's that's probably the, the best way to go. Fantastic. And or yeah, could, be a good member and answer lots of questions, yeah. and we'll, we'll look you up. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Feel free to message myself or uh, at Cisco DevNet on any of the social media platforms. Yeah. We're happy to help you there. Um, and I just hope that others feel a, just a little bit more interested in getting, putting themselves out there and wanting to talk about what they do because like you did, even though you kind of pushed through your nerves a little bit, by putting that out there, and others probably are watching that and going, oh my gosh, I hadn't thought of that solution. And almost guaranteed that many others in the community have great concepts and great ideas that many other people can benefit from. We just, we really want to make a space for everyone to feel comfortable putting that out there and helping others. Agreed, 100%.